Justin Krauss with Garage Flooring LLC and today we're back inside my garage where we're going to take a look at the Drymate Garage Floor Mat. One of the things that we love about the Drymate Garage Floor Mat is it is an inexpensive, easy to ship garage floor mat designed for the do-it-yourself consumer. There's generally speaking no cutting, no adhesive, and no floor prep required. As you can see here, I'm going to simply pull the mat out of the box, unroll it, and straighten it out. Now you'll notice as we're looking at this, when the product comes out, it's been packaged for several weeks or even months, it does have some wrinkles in it, and as you'll see later on, those wrinkles do tend to come out over time. I straighten the mat, and it looks great from day one, but it will start to look better as time goes along. Let's see how the dry mate mat does under elements. What you're looking at here is three and a half gallons of water being poured onto a 17 foot dry mate mat. As you can see, the mat absorbs most of the water immediately, while some of it absorbs over a little bit of time. Okay, so as we keep pouring the water on the mat, a couple things to mention. We're pouring this water in a pretty isolated area. If it was evenly distributed over the whole mat, it would tend to absorb more of it more quickly. But as you can see, we're putting this into a relatively small portion of the mat, just to give you guys an idea of how much water the dry make garage floor mats can hold. Well, there you have it. There's three and a half gallons on there. We're gonna give a little bit of time here and see how long it takes to soak in. So now, what we noticed is over the course of the next half an hour to 45 minutes, almost all of the water was fully absorbed into the mat. You can see the mat is still wet, but the moisture is tightly locked inside the dry mate mat. The best part is when you peel the mat back and you look at the floor underneath, little if any water made it through. 